Hey everyone, this is Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our Lotus Tea Light. This is a gorgeous little freebie and we're really happy to bring it to you and hopefully you uh, incorporate it into your decor at home. I personally see this as a nice little addition to, uh, well, your place settings in your dining room. So let's take a look at what we have here. It's actually a very simple little piece. It's gonna go together in no time at all. We've got three layers. This is the middle layer, this is the bottom layer, I'm sorry, this is the top layer, middle, bottom, and there's really not much to it. We can just assemble these in stages and then put them all together. So as you can see with this, I've already folded everything. Now this being the center layer, the tea light's actually gonna be in here. Um, if you are using AC cardstock with uh, a texture here, you want the texture facing out like this. Okay, and I also took a little bit of time to hit the edges of this with ink and actually went down the fold just slightly. Okay, so let's just get started here. There is a little tab right here that we need to apply some glue to. Just go very easy with the glue here. Don't need a lot. And then I'm just gonna hit that with my finger to thin it out a bit. Okay, and then we're gonna tuck that tab inside and just connect it to its neighbor Okay, and you can actually, we can do this flat. I'm just kind of getting it aligned initially. It is a, a small little tab, but you can fold it flat up against itself like so. And actually it makes it easier to get everything aligned because these two little petals should sit on top of each other as if they were one. You can see how when you lay it right on top of itself, it kind of makes that back one disappear. That indicates that you did a good job with alignment. Okay, so there's that. And then, sometimes these are a little tricky when you have a number of tabs like this and this whole thing kind of wiggles around. So my advice here would be to, when you bring the, tab, uh, the bottom down, try to focus on getting these two tabs aligned first. And then the rest of them should just kind of fall into place. You may have to give them a little bit of a nudge here or there, but either way, go ahead and begin applying some glue on all of these tabs. We're gonna do this in one fell swoop here. Okay. Just like that. And I'm gonna bring this glue out to the very edges with my finger by simply just kind of dabbing it like that. Okay, and as I mentioned, when we bring this down, try to get these two tabs aligned. And like I said, you may need to kind of nudge these walls a tad I'm kind of just squeezing the sides there to get that lined up. And that is, that's probably good enough. You're not really gonna see the bottom of it anyway, but you do wanna to try to get it as close to lined up as possible. So that's good. Okay. There we go. You can see our little tea light's gonna go right inside there and that at this point, we can move on to the next layer. And this layer, okay, it's, uh, it's not as curled and closed in, it's a little spread out. And we're gonna tuck this tab behind this petal, like so, and as you can see, I also kinda inked this a little bit as well. So we're gonna apply glue to, in my case, the textured surface of this piece. Okay, and we're gonna tuck that right behind this guy here. Now with this one, you can't really lay it down flat, so you have to do your best to get that lined up as accurately as possible. And then give that a good squeeze. You can actually put that down on your surface and press down like so. There we go. And then, I'm gonna take and put the little center piece right in there. And we can do that flat, so Whoa, geez, glue, what are you doing? Let's get some glue on these tabs. Try to get up to the fold as close as you can without spilling over. We want that to be somewhat seamless. Okay, get, get at least one of those sections lined up nicely and then the rest of them should just kind of fall into place like so. Okay. You can see that's gonna go in there. We're gonna glue that down in just a moment. But for now, 
let's just finish this off with this section here. And just like we did the first time, I've got my texture side up. We're gonna take this tab, glue it behind this tab. Okay, so let's get our glue on here. Like so, hit that with my finger and get that lined up nicely. And if you're a little bit off, it's okay. And then I can put that on my surface and press down. There we go. We'll flatten these out a tad and get our glue on these tabs now. We'll finish this off. And then we'll have our three layers and we just need to simply stack them and glue them to each other. And that's it. So this is actually probably a, a pretty easy project, uh, even for a child. I know some of your kids are really rocking and rolling with our projects and they're, they're doing some pretty complex stuff. So that's cool. Uh, but if you want to give them an easier introduction to our files, this may be a good one to start with. Okay. So it's almost flat, but not quite. It's just sitting up a tad. Okay. So now when we, when we lay these down and glue them to each other, we want to, we want to make sure that we offset the petals here. Okay. So that they're not literally right on top of each other like this. You want to offset them like that and then do it in a way where, well, let's see here. Yeah, that's fine. Just like that. So let's go ahead and put some glue on the bottom of this. You can go a little bit heavier here since it's not completely flat. Okay. And then as we put this down again, remember to offset the petals and also make sure that you are getting it in the center there and then just press that down. That looks good. Okay. So go ahead and get your glue on the bottom of this. Now with this one, you can actually just lay it in um, so that it matches up with the, what is that? A hexagon. Don't have to offset that one since it's standing up. You're not really going to notice too much but that's pretty much it. Okay. There it is. It's beautiful. Very simple. And then get your electronic tea light, pop it in there. And there you have it. Beautiful little decor piece that is going to look great in your dining room or wherever you decide to put it. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please take a moment and visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications in your browser anytime we release a new video. And if you make this or anything from our uh, Pretty Potted Plants bundle, I would love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group or you can type in this little URL that pops up at the bottom of your screen. So if this is your first project, congratulations. Very simple. If you can make this, you can make anything from our site and um, we'd love to see your work. So anyway. Have a good rest of your day, and I look forward to crafting with you again.